Hey guys, it is Jessica, AKA player tap that a, and today I wanted to create a video showing you how to easily clean out some of that pesky custom content that is broken or just custom content that once you got it in your game, you realize you didn't quite want anymore. This video is going to be super quick, super easy, and really straightforward so that you guys can clean out your games just like I do. One of the first things you want to do is start with a good Google search and you're going to go ahead and search for the Sims 4 Trey Importer. Now the very first website that comes up is LuniverseSims.com. This is the exact site we want to go to, so feel free to go ahead and click on this one. The website is by a French designer, so if you see another language than you're used to, do not worry. I use it. I know many other simmers who also use it, so trust me, this one's safe. The first thing you're going to want to do is click download this file. You will see it downloading onto your computer. Go ahead and click this arrow down here here and say show in folder. Another way you could do it is just by going to your downloads folder. We are going to pay attention to what's under today's tab and it is S4TI Unified. So because it has a little zipper on it, just like with any of these other files you see here, the first thing that we want to do is to go ahead and right click it and say extract all. This pop-up will come up. What I'm going to do is go ahead and extract it directly back into the downloads folder for easy access. And as you can see, there is a zipped version here, an unzipped version here. Now we're going to go ahead and open up this unzipped version. Inside the unzipped version is the Sims 4 tray importer. So we should just be able to launch it and here we go. And you may get a notification like this. This is exactly why I uninstalled and reinstalled the app. So you could see step by step what I go through. As you can see, my only option says don't run. That doesn't work for us. And I know that I've run this application flawlessly many times. So I'm going to go ahead and click more info. Once again, you might not even come up against this. It might just automatically download. That just depends on your computer settings, but this is why I wanted to show this to you. So when I click more info, I get the option that says run anyways. Let's go ahead and run it. I get another pop-up that says a new version could be available. Do you want to check for an update now? Because I just downloaded this from the website itself, I know that this is the newest version. So I'm going to say no for now. But what's really great about The Sims 4 tray importer is it will actually prompt you every time you open it to check for a new update so you can stay up to date and it's super easy. The next pop up says welcome to the Sims 4 tray importer setup wizard. This will install the Sims 4 tray importer on your computer. I can see what version it is right here. It's recommended that you close all other applications before continuing. Click next to continue. This is the following important information before continuing. You can choose to read through this. There are French versions. There are English versions as well because because I've already downloaded this application before, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. I know what's up. And this next part is up to you. You get to decide where you want to place this file. A lot of us just click next and don't worry about it at all. But if you had somewhere in particular you wanted this to go, feel free to click browse and put it in a particular location. I'm just going to hit next. Once again, it is letting you know where the setup will create a program shortcut and you can change this if you'd like by clicking browse or just go ahead and click next. I don't know about some of you lovely individuals but I like to keep my desktop nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and unclick create a desktop shortcut. Some of you like to have desktop shortcuts for everything, for all of your games, for any programs that you have. I just want it to stay nice and clean and I know I can use my computer search bar to find anything I need. And it's letting you once again know everything you just decided. So you know all of the selections you made before you click install. If you'd like to change anything, feel free to hit back. And I'm going to click install. You should be prompted with this page complete the Sims 4 tray importer setup wizard. Now you can launch whichever version you would like. I'm going to go ahead and launch this first one, Sims 4 tray importer and click finish. And like I told you earlier in the video, every time you launch the Sims 4 tray importer, you will be prompted to check for an update. I know that we have the most up-to-date version, but just for showcasing this to you guys, because this is what you'll see every time you load in, click check for update. And as you can see, the installed version is 1.22 
1.22.8.0 and what is available is 1.22.8.0. So we are fully up to date. We are ready to go. So go ahead and hit close. Now you will see a home page and all of these images will be different every single time you load in. Right now we are going to head into our Sims 4 game and I am going to show you how to put everything you want to delete into a saved household so you can delete them from your game. All right, you guys, now that our game is officially loaded, what you are going to do first is either click load game or new game. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. We just want to get into create a sim because the first things I'm going to teach you to delete are some of your create a sim custom content items. And there's two ways to get started. The first way to get started is you can come in here and completely strip a sim down and take all of the items off of them because whatever you leave on your sims will be deleted. Now this program will not delete any in-game items. It will only delete custom content so you don't have to worry about it deleting eyebrows or eyes that are naturally in your games only if they're custom content. Now this could take a while because you want to make sure you get all of the makeup off, any accessories, skin details, the whole thing and you need to make sure and do it for every single outfit. Or you can head on over to the gallery, make sure you're connected to the internet and I have set up a few houses for you guys that already have the sims completely stripped so that you don't risk deleting any custom content that you absolutely love. So just come on up to the search bar, click the drop down menu so you have EA account ID and type in tap that A. You will find all of my content creations here and as you can see I have some bad CC children, male and female, and they are already fully stripped and ready to go for you to delete your custom content. Same with bad CC males and female sims and I also have an empty toddler male and female sim for you you guys too. Let's go ahead and start with the adult sims and you just want to click save household to library and place and replace your sims. When you load in, you should see the first four are male sims and the last four are female sims. They are fully stripped down. That way you don't risk deleting any hairstyles, eyelashes, eyebrows that you might like. So let's get started. Now you can start whichever way you want. You can start with clothes. You can start with hair. You can decorate a sim with everything that you do not want in your game anymore and go ahead and delete it all at once. I'm actually going to start with some hairs that I want to get out of my game. I I like to go ahead and filter by custom content. It also just helps me see all of my items better. Sometimes if I just know I want to get items out of my game, I will just click through all of my custom content items until I find things that I don't quite want or that don't quite fit my style. So a few updates ago, some of my spectrum versions of some of my hairs broke. And as you click on them, you can see that they don't quite work right around the scalp. Luckily, my regular versions of them do but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these versions that as you can see are a little more pixelated. Let's start with this one. So now I have a hair on her that I know that I want to delete. If I had a lipstick or sunglasses or anything else that I wanted to delete out of my game, I could just keep piling it on her. I'm going to find an outfit that I don't want in my game anymore also. I'm gonna go ahead and take this top out of my game. So I'm gonna leave it on her. Anything that we put on the sim will get deleted. So make Make sure you're not leaving anything on there that you like. I'm going to click over to my pants and see if there are any bottoms that I might want to delete. Honestly, after flicking through all of my pants, I actually really like all of the clothing items that I currently have in my games for bottoms. So I'm not going to put a bottom on her because you don't have to fully decorate a sim in order to delete custom content that's on them. I'm going to get rid of these shoes as well. Now that I'm done with this outfit, I'm going to pop over to her formal wear and notice it takes her hair off of her again and start the process all over again. And I have a few other hairs that were broken that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to click on one of those. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So let's leave that on her and I'm going to move on and delete that next hair. Start back up here at the top, get my last hair that I know I wanted to delete, throw one more outfit on her. I'm going to get rid of this little number. Now, when you're done adding items to the Sims that you want to delete and notice I didn't use any of these other Sims and that's totally fine. 
because it won't delete anything off of those Sims because there's nothing on them. You wanna make sure and click save household and you can just save it right to your library. You do not need to save it to the gallery. And now let's go back over to the Sims 4 tray importer so I can show you how to delete them. First things first, make sure you close out of your game because we are about to be pulling files out of your game and you don't wanna have your game open while we do that. That could break your game. So we're gonna go ahead and exit the game. We know we cannot save. We are in create a sim. And now we are going to open the Sims 4 tray importer. As I mentioned, it is checking for an update, but we already know we're up to date. So I'm gonna click close. I want to make it full screen and we are back to that lovely homepage. Now what you want to do is you wanna click these three little books over here to the left that say library. And if you notice all of your saves from your library start to pop up right here. First thing I wanna do is click on that household I built with you guys. As you can see, we have our one beautiful lady who is decorated in all the CC we do not want. Up here at the top, you see general files and custom content. You're gonna click on custom content. Give it a moment to load. Sometimes it can take a while to load depending on how much custom content you've put on that house. And I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag and select all of this. Just be careful and make sure you only drag down to the mod section. And I like to right click and say show in containing folder. Now, if you have all of your mods just dumped into one folder, it should just pop up one folder. I separate mine out a little bit, so mine will look like this. As you can see, it has opened three folders for me, and all of the items it is trying to delete are actually the ones that are highlighted. So be careful not to click anywhere, because what you want to do is just right click on the item that is highlighted and say delete. And it is gone, so close out of that folder. And you see there are at least three items, if not more, in this folder. I'm going to right click and say delete and right click and delete. So now those items are out of our game. You could actually go over to your recycle bin and see that they've been put there. But for now, I'm just gonna pop back into my game and show you that those hairs that we took out are long gone. All right, we are back in our game and let's go ahead and make sure that these items have been taken out of our game. I'm gonna filter by custom content, makes it easier to find what I'm looking for or what I'm hoping to not see. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, all of the hairs that we put on our sim to have deleted from our game are now officially out of our game, leaving us with just our beautiful ones that look flawless inside of our game. I hope you guys enjoyed this how to delete your create a sim CC tutorial. If you would like to see how to delete your build CC, I will be posting a second part two to this video so you guys can clean out your games just like I do. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!